Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. Tesla discontinues right-hand drive Model S and Model X. Tesla will no longer offer right-hand drive versions of its Model S and Model X vehicles, with the decision expected to streamline production and reduce costs. Right-hand drive markets such as the UK, Japan and Hong Kong will be affected. Buyers in these markets can either settle for a left-hand drive vehicle, claim a credit towards a Model 3 or Model Y, or cancel their order. The decision was made due to the mechanical and logistical complexity involved in converting the vehicles. This may hurt Tesla's sales in these markets and impact buyers in the long term. Samsung and Tesla discuss autonomous car chip partnership. Samsung Electronics Executive Chairman Lee Jae Young and Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently met to discuss potential cooperation in future high tech industries, particularly in the development of IT related technologies like semiconductors for autonomous vehicles. As the global market for automotive chips is expected to reach $400 billion in 2024 and $700 billion in 2028, This meeting could pave the way for an expanded partnership between Samsung and Tesla in the automotive chip sectors. Tesla recalls over 1.1 million vehicles in China. Tesla is recalling more than 1.1 million vehicles in China due to braking issues. The recall includes Tesla's imported Model S, Model X, Model 3, and domestically produced Model 3 and Model Y vehicles manufactured between January 12, 2019 and April 24, 2023. Tesla's factory in Shanghai is the company's biggest export hub outside of North America, and China is an important sales market for the company. The recall could have an impact on the company's sales and reputation in China. Tesla will contact the relevant car owners to arrange the recall and repairs, according to the SAMR statement. Tesla's driver monitoring system upgrades. Tesla is upgrading its driver monitoring system to track more driver behaviors, including the number of times a driver yawns or blinks, driver posture and how well centered they are driving. These upgrades apply to drivers not using autopilot and aim to improve safety and reduce distracted driving. Tesla has not yet propagated the changes to the user interface, so they are not yet active. The delay in making the code active may be due to Tesla determining what behaviors deem a driver unfit to operate the vehicle without autopilot. This comes as part of Tesla's recent safety upgrades, including changes to the automatic emergency braking system. Tesla Model S and Model X owners sue over automatic updates. Tesla Model S and Model X owners are suing the automaker over automatic updates that reduced their vehicle's range by 20% and caused battery damage. Owners had to spend between $500 to $700 to reverse the update, and those with damaged batteries paid over $15,000 for new ones. The lawsuit alleges that Tesla's updates violate the Consumer Legal Remedies Act, California Unfair Competition Act, and Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The suit argues that car owners expect unforeseen events to impact their vehicle's performance, but not deliberate interference by the manufacturer through automatic software updates. U.S. Transportation Secretary expresses concern over Tesla's autopilot system. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg expresses concern over Tesla's marketing of its autopilot system. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, is investigating over 30 crashes since 2016 involving Tesla's autopilot or full self-driving system. Tesla owners are told they must be ready to intervene at all times. NHTSA has become more aggressive in pursuing safety problems with Teslas, announcing multiple recalls and investigations. The Justice Department has also asked Tesla for documents about full self-driving and autopilot. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI-generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.